Oh great, Exalted Grotus. We brought the princess. Peach, you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly little girl. We know you have it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in our interest to be abs- for you. Mitchin, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We Exnox are not all rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, we're quite nasty. Grotus, sir. I have news. Report it once. You know that crystal star that we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What'd you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more to you. See? According to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat with and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario. Excuse me? Mario? I see. So you know this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I know all about... I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. And you're bored of talking. Pr take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. He must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was a? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus, and th with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He'll he is a bit out there. Hmm. Summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir. You rang, Grotus? Sir, dude, sir, Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The, the, the Shadow Sirens, sir? But they. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has the need of us, then we arrive without delay. Mwehehehe, <laughs> pray tell did the princess tell you where the map is? Steal your tongue, but but build them. We already have it. We'd ar we, we would have already had it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. My worry. All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, the pl that plan is vital. That map is vital to the excellent plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. Your Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. Mwehehehe, <laughs> fear not, sire. I, Bedlam, shall return what you seek. Return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Merlin, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Good. <laughs> oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Shroudsworth must be worried sick. Again. But, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could just at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Holy crap, guys! It's Ryan from 2RAM Studios, and after that freaking long intro, we are back and controlling Princess Peach, awkwardly enough. And it's really weird because you can't see her feet moving, it's just like a sprite moving around. But anyways, yeah, um, that intro was five minutes long, so let's get right into it. Now, something you can do is you're supposed to go out this way, but really, 
you can go out this way. And you have this thing here. Now, I know all you pervs want to see her go to the bathroom, take a shower. So that's what we'll do. We'll just take a shower. Yeah, they actually have Princess Peach taking a shower in a Mario game. All you and you hear her singing the Mario theme. All you pervs seeing her steamy paper body. Cool. Sickos. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder what that hee-hee was about. Anyways, guys, um, I haven't recorded in a while, because I've been, uh, kind of busy. I mean, like, really busy. So, you know, and actually you get to see your hair bundled up. I feel like a new princess. It's actually kind of a little Easter egg. But yeah, I'm, I've been wanting to record for a while. I didn't think that I'd run out of Chapter 1 videos that fast. I thought it took me more parts to get that done. Oh yeah, you actually, I think you actually have to do that. I'm not sure. Otherwise, the store won't open. Um. Anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to be taking out Chapter 2 today. So, yeah. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Can't go in there. Oh. Door's open. How odd. It's a dark room. It's flashing. Lights are on. It's a big computer. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? I'm using. I'm right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. I'm surprised it's not the Tech XXX. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He's a very great person. He's marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt it, it'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I'm unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Well, that's not the only thing that overheated. Also, an unidentified impulse speed through my processors. These events are new to me. God, that sounds wrong. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Whoa there. Such compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I am the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? You want to know more about me? Oh, baby. Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. Your computer. Turn his floppy you turn his floppy disk into a hard drive. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really cuz it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I'm the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand, please. Well, you know me, maybe. It's possible then, well, you're in love. With me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy. Okay, oh, crap, I skipped it. When you love someone, okay. You just do anything to help them when you're trying to be happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you should comprehend, tech. You feel it. Dot, 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 dot. Princess Peach, will you tell me how to feel this thing you call love? Oh, God, Nintendo, you have so many innuendos in this game. What's your computer? Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I can not comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please, if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am never able to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What are you, insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? Should I, I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes. Ha, huh, why should I believe you? She's a little feisty, little bitch. I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. 
I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Did you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course, you may. Use my communicator to send a wireless mail anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and a message. You mean this keyboard? No, the other keyboard. Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Well, that was a long Princess Peach session. These happen between every chapter. Yes, I would like to save all game progress up to this point. Do not just memory card and slot A or the power button. Your progress was saved. Okay, cheesy effect. Cheesy effect, cheesy effect. Cheesy effect, cheesy effect, cheesy effect, cheesy effect. And now we have a cutout of Bowser's Castle. You see the same one in Super Paper Mario, actually. Kind of cool music. And it's Bowser. This is another thing that happens in between every chapter. Bowser the Mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Kimmy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Okay. So anyways, I'm sorry, I paused there for a second. You get to control Bowser here now. This is pretty cool. You can breathe fire. Can't jump. Torch, torch. Wait, wait, wait. Torch, 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 torch. Okay, I think you can actually breathe limitless fire. Anyways, you talk to him, you get funny things like he calls you your huffiness, your ghastliness. I'm not going to read all of them because we're running out of time, but. Uh, put a cork in it, man. Who? Ah, yeah, the Lord Bowser. Okay, yeah. I, I, I mean, these are funny, but I don't have the time to read them right now. Your surliness? Okay, it's tubby. Torch. Torch. Anyways, talk to these guys. Lord Bowser. Hey, Lord Bowser. That's not interesting. You got these guys. Yeah, you walk to the end of the room. This is all you have to do for this part. Just walk to the end of the room, then here's Kami Koopa. Ah, Lord Bowser. Actually, I should do a voice for her. <laughs> She's tired from walking to the end of the room. Huff, who? I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. That's kind of a weird voice, actually. I bet you are, Kami- ah, fuck it, I'm not gonna do voices. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me in here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose, or what else he's blowing? Or what? Sheesh. Yes, we well, see, my lord. Apparently Mario's hunting for an amazing treasure. Tre -tre treasure <laughs> Mario has gone in search of star-shaped crystals known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you... Brainy hag, you? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Well, we'll have to find out in the next part, because frankly, we're out of time for that freaking long Princess Peach intro. So anyways, guys, I will see you next part in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Goodbye.